Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Finger, here to review episode 8 of Hatsukoi Monster, or First Love Monster. Well then, <laughs> finally, we get the episode where, you know, Kanade, Kanade, whatever, wants to go after uh, Kaho and, you know, get her back. And he actually cried over it, like, I was like, aw, I feel so bad for the guy, <laughs> poor guy. But, um... Yeah, so this episode started off where uh, Kanade and Tom and Gin and Kaz are all playing this, like, game. Like, they're, like, uh, in mechs and stuff, and it's, it looks like a legit mech anime, but then they're just wearing cardboard, and I'm like, that's so funny. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but um, the whole point of this episode was to get uh, Kanade to go after... Kaho because she gets a call or several calls like 87 and a bunch of like telegrams from her family saying you know we need you to contact us ASAP and <laughs> we find out kind of why maybe in the end of the episode and it's really like what but yeah so she goes and you know leaves and kind of doesn't know until later when he finds out he's like oh I want to go after her because I'm lovesick basically he's lovesick for her he misses her and <laughs> Taga, uh, the blonde dude, and uh, Kota set up this little, like, telephone hotline to help children and, like, have questions or whatever. And they get, there's this whole funny scene about it where, like, oh my gosh. But I just wanted to talk about, you know, uh, kind of days, you know, questions and stuff where he started crying a little bit. And then Taga's like, oh, she's not here, you know, you need to go after her. And then so the guys get on their bikes and try to go after her and I'm like that's not gonna work because she had to take a train uh and she was on that train and she was thinking about kind of day I was like oh you poor thing it's see I shouldn't say this because again he's a fifth grader and she's a high school student so it's like why do I want them to be together so bad it's just so weird <laughs> it's so strange so strange and through all these circumstances, kind of they and everyone give, well, they don't give up. Well, most of them do, except for him, because uh, they all get flat tires on their bikes. So it's like, oh, well, darn, we can't get there, which I'm sure they weren't going to get there anyway. Um, <laughs> but, oh, boy. <laughs> then Taga comes with his car and is like, oh, you want to go get her or something? You know, get in my car and let's go. And, woo. and then we go to Kaho, and she's at her house, and there's this, like, she goes in there, and it's, like, a little destroyed and stuff, and there's, like, a crying noise, and then those little, like, dolls that we saw, like, in the first episode that she had, that she almost, like, it was rolling, and it, that's how she almost got run over by a truck, uh, it, it seems to imply that, they want to imply that those are crying, and maybe those are her family members? What? Maybe, like, I don't know. That was just super weird. Like, what the heck? What it? What? Like, why does she have all this, like, horror movie stuff happen to her? Like, that episode with the, uh, the, the, um, the teacher, not really teacher, but, um, uh, the, the weird girl, the other weird girl. Um, but yeah, so that was quite, quite the episode. Um, like, wow, <laughs> quite the episode. So, we'll have to see, uh, what kind of day's gonna do to get, to win her back. Uh, I'm sure she'll be like, oh, you came for me, or something like that, I don't know. But, we'll see what happens in the next episode, in episode 9. Oh boy, it's gonna be interesting, I'm sure. So, I'll see you guys in my review for Rewrite and B Project later. So, I'll see you guys in those reviews, and bye!